Good afternoon. I'm Mike Anderson, the mayor of the city of Lafayette, and I'm addressing you today to bring folks up to date on what the city of Lafayette is doing, given the circumstances of our nation as well as our region. First, I want to just talk a little bit about the situation that we in as a nation. And I think it's very important that people understand that what we saw with the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis is basically a symptom of an ongoing problem that has been an issue for people of color for hundreds of years. And I think all of us who are concerned about our fellow man, our community members, want to make sure that no one is subjected to that kind of treatment in the future. To get there is a very difficult and slow process. And I think it takes process, not violence, to get there. So we have a circumstance that requires us to begin to reach out to others, to look at others without prejudice, to consider other people's feelings and points of view without prejudgment, and to recognize that all of us have a life that brought us to that time and place that may be different, that may bring different perspectives, and therefore are worthy of our due consideration as a human being. The situation in Minneapolis, the situation in the nation right now is not to be unexpected given the past actions that have occurred. So it's kind of with that backdrop that it's important that those of us in Lafayette recognize there's a challenge in front of us that really requires all of us to reach a little deeper into our sense of humanity and to extend ourselves a little more than we might normally to accommodate and consider the perspectives of others. The city is going to be doing several things to make sure that the community is safe and that the freedom of speech that all of us have in this wonderful country is protected. Before I get into the specifics of that, I want to talk a little bit about what individuals can do. And I had this question asked of me many times. It's really critical that we recognize that we're here as people, all of us, with the hope that we can live a happy life. There are very few people who are actually out to harm others or to make other people uncomfortable or to steal from them or to hurt them. Most of us, when we look each other in the eye, can see the humanity there and we need to continue to do that. Even in this circumstance where there's a lot of stress and there is a lot of hatred, we still need to look past that and find that person on the other side of us, outside of us, and appeal to them and support them as a human And what does that look like? It looks like folks basically listening and talking to each other without prejudgment, expressing their opinion, and doing that in a way that respects everyone that they encounter. And I know in Lafayette, we have the ability to do that. It's a sophisticated community. It's a very happy community. It's a very positive community. And because of that, I have full faith in the residents here to come through this with a better perspective. So the city needs to make sure that the community is protected and to ensure that Today, I'm going to be issuing a state of emergency, and with that, enabling a curfew for the commercial district in Lafayette that will run 
from 9 p.m. starting this evening, June 1st, to 5 a.m. in the morning. And that curfew will continue to be in place until it is taken down, most likely by an action of the council, who will meet on this in a week, but possibly earlier than that if circumstances allow. The reason for this is out of a concern that there are people who are taking advantage of the protests that are being put in place to cover outright criminal activity. And I think we're beginning to see that now in some of the areas nearby. Walnut Creek, I know, has experienced recently a great deal of crime, not necessarily uh, related to any protest at all, just the actual breaking into and loss of commercial property. I don't think we will see that here. Uh, our police chief doesn't feel that that's something that's going to happen here. But we have increased staffing of our police. We will put this curfew in place to assure that in the evening hours, there will be really no one on the streets except those who are either related to essential services. And that hopefully is enough to assure our businesses that they can be sure that people are watching to protect their interest in this community. Does that mean that businesses don't have to put up plywood to protect their business or their windows? I can't say. I think that's up for each business owner to decide on their own basis. But I think that what you can take from this, hopefully, is a sincere interest on the part of the city to protect the downtown area and all of our commercial interests, particularly at this time where they're most vulnerable as many of them are not even in operation. So that hopefully begins to address security for us as a city, specifically in our downtown area. The police chief and I and the city manager have had a chance to talk about public assembly and the desire for people to express their concerns about our situation nationwide and locally. The chief has been very clear, and I support him 100%, that they will be operating to protect the freedom of speech for all of us and our rights to assemble peaceably. We've had a few events or rallies that have happened in the city that have been carried out with respect and without any problem. And I'm very pleased that that has happened and that can continue to happen. The only one concern I have is to make sure that we recognize that we are still within the bounds of a pandemic. There is still a need to be concerned about the transfer of the COVID-19 virus. So if you're out and you're protesting, make sure that you're protecting yourself and others and hopefully doing it in conformance to the social distancing and mask required uh, requirements from our public health officer. But it is clear that our police are quite supportive and quite understanding of the position of concern and anguish that is being voiced by protesters locally and regionally and around the nation. And I support that. The issue, of course, is when people are leaving the bounds of protest and beginning to attack property or individuals, and that will not be tolerated, and that will not be allowed to occur. We are very clear that this community has very clear values and interests in human rights, but also respects property right, and that will be something that we will be defending very seriously. 
So the circumstance we're in right now is a difficult one, but I think we've got in place a curfew that will help us control the downtown area, and yet we'll still allow, since it starts at nine o'clock, an opportunity for folks to do their normal business, get home from work, do a takeout run or a curbside pickup, and then be assured in the evening and night that things will be secure. Additional staffing will be in place, the curfew will be in place, and all city offices and services are still available to you should you have a concern or an issue. And finally, I just wanted to acknowledge something that I think is also within the, within the bounds of what we're talking about on a nationwide level. Today, we have the gay pride flag raised in our Plaza Park. And normally we would make a bit of an event out of that, but this time we felt it would be important to simply acknowledge it along with this announcement of the actions we're taking to protect the community. But not to belittle that in any way. This is another part of our community that has suffered for many, many generations, both ridicule and discrimination, and needs to know that we are not judging them on a daily basis. It's the same issue. It just has a different label on it. And I have seen people reduced to tears. I have seen people who have lost their sense of humanity and purpose over this issue, which when it comes down to it is basically a matter for every individual to determine for themselves and not a basis for us to judge them. So Gay Pride Month, we respect it, we honor it, the flag flies today and it will fly throughout the month. The circumstances around George Floyd's death, we condemn, we do not appreciate, and we act now as a community in clear purpose of undoing that type of action by police, by individuals, by groups, by anyone or any organization. Because that's not what this community is about and that's not what being a human being is about. We need to be concerned, compassionate, and thoughtful. And we are. So thank you very much for listening. As I said, the city offices are available to you. Our police services are available to you. The main change today is the curfew, 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. until lifted in our commercial district to assure our businesses that they are secure. Also additional staffing is in place in our police service. Let's go forward and try to be a beacon for our region and maybe even for the nation of how a community can in fact live together, work together and support each other every day. Not just today because there's an issue, but every day. That's what is important, that's what makes community and that's really what I see in Lafayette every day. Thank you so very much for taking the time to listen to this. Take care.